Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And uh, I thought it would be uh, a while before I said that again. Um, so uh, welcome everyone, welcome back uh, from the long hiatus. I know you probably have a lot of questions for me or uh, regarding uh, the state of the channel. And I know that, uh, you know, a, a lot of that is not really to do with the duration that I was away, but uh, sort of how we uh, left off uh, the content. So uh, the most important thing is that I'm back and I'm going to be kicking off uh, this month uh, with some new content, again, in alignment with uh, what we had laid out last year. But uh, I'll be explaining a couple of things, you know, not, not just regarding my absence, but uh, why uh, I, you know, essentially uh, took some time off YouTube, uh, all of which or most of which, uh, you know, is to do with uh, some personal work, uh, but also uh, taking a step back to, um, you know, understand or to process uh, everything or all the changes that's ha that have happened, not just in relation to the cybersecurity industry, but um, you know, the world as a whole, AI, etc. And uh, also re uh, reimagining um, or re-envisaging cybersecurity training. So the bottom line is I'm back now. I'm really excited to be back and I can't wait to get started. So I've, you know, obviously prepared a little bit of a presentation here. Uh, that's uh, again, a testament to how much I respect you, the audience, and I'm you know, given that you are sort of stakeholders uh, or shareholders in the channel, I uh, just wanted to provide you with an update on a couple of things. So first things first, I'm doing fine, uh, perfectly fine, um, you know, over the duration of my uh, hiatus or absence. And I would like to thank uh, each and every one of you for checking in on me um, and, uh, you know, essentially reaching out uh, to ask me how I'm doing. And I really, really appreciate it as I've, um, as I have updated, uh, you know, anyone or everyone who reached out to me, uh, the plan was always to resume, uh, content production. So thank you very much for that. And, uh, you know, the channel has grown, uh, even during the period, uh, you know, of my absence. And I really appreciate that. And as always, uh, the plan was to come back and get back to producing high quality content. Um, so the reason for my absence is fairly simple. I'm sure a lot of you can uh, actually relate. Uh, you know, pretty much been busy with a lot of work in the background. As you know, uh, YouTube is not something that I do full time or have been doing full time. And I just got to a you know point where I needed to prioritize a couple of things as well as plan ahead for the channel in alignment to the last channel update I gave you, um, you know, uh, in order for me to teach or to train you guys or provide you the training that, again, levels, uh, you know, provides you with a, an increased um, level of skills, knowledge, abilities, etc., I needed to rethink a couple of things not to do with the future of the channel, but more so how I, you know, teach and, uh, you know, present or uh, develop content because it's time to take that next step. And uh, I'm sure you'll be very excited uh, with what I have uh, planned out, uh, which, you know, brings me to my uh, fourth point, which is exactly that. I'm really, really excited to be back producing high quality InfoSec training not just for red teamers, but also for blue teamers. And our approach this time is going to be game changing. Uh, you can you can trust me on that. So uh, overall, I would say uh, this time away has, I think, given both of us, myself, uh, you know, uh, Alexis or Hackersploit, as you call me, and yourself, the audience, you know, may, uh, time to, you know, stand back, look at everything, you know, from a you know, fresh pair of eyes. And I think that was very important uh, for uh, for us to do that. Obviously not uh, the duration that I uh, intended or I didn't intend it to be this long. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've uh, really, really looked at things uh, in various ways. And I'm speaking specifically to, 
you know, the type of training or the type of videos, uh, how I want to structure them and how I want to develop them. But it all comes down to the production quality, not just in terms of audiovisual, uh, but also the amount of information I can um, divulge in a video as well as, and this is something we'll touch on and will become evident as we progress, uh, as well as uh, the realism of the training. And again, uh, don't worry if you're a little bit confused, this will make sense. Uh, and that brings me to my fifth point. So the huge paradigm shift, and I'm not going to divulge uh, too much in terms of, uh, you know, what the changes are, they will be evident. Um, uh, we're now moving or, you know, my, uh, my, my period of absence uh, really led me to a couple of conclusions that I think are very important. And uh, that is that, uh, you know, the stagnation that occurred a year ago that, you know, essentially occurred a year ago on the platform as a whole with regards to cybersecurity content was not really something that just came out of uh, nowhere. Uh, there's a reason for that. And that comes uh, essentially, you know, drills down to the fact that there's a certain limit uh, or there was a ceiling, I should say, on the realism of content that can be produced, but also um, the transfer of skills from video into, uh, you know, a working environment or into an environment where you can, again, along with me, go through what I'm covering in a video. So bottom line is exciting, realistic and game changing content coming up. Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, uh, covering something that you've never heard of in terms of cybersecurity subject matter. Uh, but more so the way I'm covering it uh, will change and uh, I think you'll start to see the benefits of it. So that begs the question, uh, what's next in terms of content? So I've uh, listed out a content roadmap here that outlines the subject matter uh, that I want to cover this year. It obviously may spill over into next year in the, if, in the cases where the, uh, the content is rolling release um, and I'll explain that. But uh, where we left off last year, uh, the objective was to get into red teaming professionally. So, you know, we'll cover the red team essentials, uh, red team frameworks and methodologies, uh, initial access techniques, as well as resource development, um, post exploitation techniques, uh, pretty much what we are doing with the pen testing bootcamp, but now in a more realistic way. And again, the realism aspect of our side of things will become evident as we progress. And then, of course, command and control. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to use something like Empire for red teaming, as well as uh, explore some additional C2 frameworks that are quite popular, like Havoc, Covenant. And we may as well uh, also dive into producing or developing our own C2 framework. Although, as I said, that's something that we, uh, we will explore when we get there. Uh, we'll also have adversary emulation, very important. Uh, something that, again, I'm well... Um, well versed with so uh, there's not a lot of content on youtube on this likewise for active directory penetration testing and then i'm converting the penetration testing bootcamp series into a new series called pen testing diaries which will feature one to two releases per week uh, so this will be rolling forever pretty much as long as i'm alive but uh, we'll essentially be going through uh, it's going to be a series that acts, you know, sort of like a journal. We're going to be going through different uh, challenges or pen testing techniques and tools um, and taking a look at how to use them again in a realistic context. Um, and uh, the objective here is to sort of bridge the gap between theoretical um, and, uh, you know, practical. Uh, you know, implementation of pen testing techniques, as well as uh, the, the overall objective of this is to improve your overall methodology of pen testing, but also introduce some important aspects of pen testing like report writing. And so we'll probably have a challenge, um, you know, maybe once a month where I, we go through a certain amount of challenges and then you guys can submit your reports and I can then go through them, you know, stuff like that. And then obviously something that a lot of you are excited for, which sort of spurred my uh, my decision to take a step back and re-envisage things, which was web app and API pen testing. So, you know, the way I obviously want to go through this is an uber uh, realistic context. 
And uh, the reason for this is because I discovered, you know, when teaching pen testing or web app and API pen testing training, it's all, all of the training available, regardless of, you know, whether it's free or paid, uh, really is very constrained to environments that don't really emulate or mimic, uh, you know, what a real world web application looks like, and more importantly, how it functions like. So we'll be continuing that. That's going to be an interesting series. And then we'll kick off a rolling series on offensive scripting. So, you know, Python, PowerShell and Bash, and maybe Rust and Go, depending on whether I have a couple of ideas on that. But the objective here is to learn how to use these languages to develop, you know, offensive or pen testing scripts and do some offensive stuff, you know, develop exploits or, you know, metasploit exploits, etc. And then, of course, some key content that I really wanted to cover quite well and give it the respect it deserves was buffer overflows, reverse engineering, or, you know, binary exploitation. So that will also feature quite heavily. And of course, uh, the last few are really things that I have pegged for the future. I may cover to a certain extent this year, uh, but that's of course AV and EDR evasion and container pen testing. So the primary series, I would say, revolve around the first, uh, these ones here, and then AV and EDR evasion may be covered to a certain extent, likewise container pen testing. And then of course, uh, I'd started to delve into blue teaming um, last year. Uh, and the year prior with some uh, interesting content. And uh, again, the reason why I can cover this is because I've worked, you know, both in the offensive and defensive side, and now primarily operate in the middle of the, the purple team, uh, at least. So I'll be covering, you know, subject matter or topics that are that I particularly have expertise in, but a lot of you wanted and I've been reading the comments have been asking for you know, guidance on how to get into, you know, blue teaming specifically in in fields or pathways like, uh, you know, SOC analyst, uh, reverse engineering, malware analysis, etc. So I'll be making videos uh, essentially on that, or, you know, you know, providing you the pathway and advice similar to what I did on the offensive side. We'll be covering threat intelligence, uh, malware traffic analysis, uh, intrusion detection with Wazoo or Waza. Uh, depending on how you pronounce it, log analysis and incident management with Splunk, some Windows forensics, and of course, uh, something I'm quite excited for or about uh, malware and ransomware analysis. So quite a lot of content laid out. I know you may be, uh, you know, you may be a little bit cautious as to how much I've laid out and how what this is going to look like. But trust me, uh, we're all geared up or I am all geared up to do this. And again, I'm fairly confident that again, the objective is not to complete a series, uh, but uh, to cover it to a certain extent. And I said, most of these may end up being rolling release, but for a majority of them, I want to cover quite a bit of the subject matter again in, in this new format or fashion. So uh, just as I said, wanted to provide you with a quick update on everything, you know, where I've been, uh, what the future is for Hackersploit, which I can tell you from my perspective, you know, looks very exciting and uh, quite revolutionary, if you don't mind me saying. And again, you don't need to worry about the specifics right now. Um, it'll all become clear as we progress. So you can expect a couple of videos this week uh, following this one. And I would just like to say thank you a heartfelt thank you, uh, really, there's, you know, I can't, I cannot vocalize what uh, your support has meant. And uh, the fact that, you know, everyone reached out to me. So I really appreciate that. And with that being said, uh, in standard hackersploit fashion, uh, you know, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you.